going on guys? Vijan, or Vijan, however you want to say it. Um, it is an Indian shave cream. Yep. Um, and we'll be, uh, I, I turned on the camera, or I thought I turned on the camera, <laughs> and I really didn't. So I started to lather before, but it's kind of like a neon green. I've shown you guys this before, but it's kind of like a neon green type. You can see right there. And I don't know, it reminds me of that, that bubble gum in a tube. I've already told you guys that before. Um, we're using a gold dollar. This is not the same gold dollar that I used in the last video. I told you I had multiple. I grabbed a handful. Like, this is the one I'm using today. So, like, I have 10 or 12 of these just lying around. And um, I actually hone, and this is what I always say um, about different edges and stuff. Because I only have five finisher five finishing stones but i do different things with the finishing stones and for instance i have this nagura that came this little nagura stone that came with my uh my shobu this is this is a japanese uh, natural stone jnat shobu and this is the slurry stone that came with this well that works perfectly fine but i wanted to try it out with my arc so i use the the nagura with my arkansas stone and that's what this edge today is so like i said i try out a lot of stuff the edge may be absolutely horrible <laughs> we'll find out um, under the microscope it looks perfectly fine but again when i'm trying it out it might be awful so we'll see the scent the scent on the soap is eh. it's kind of mild it's not heavy but the actual scent itself is not something that, not one of those scents that I would go out of my way for. But it's a tube, it lathers really quick, and um, it's, a, it's a very good, very good cream. So, you can see just the, the ample amount of lather that I have. Way too much, actually. I didn't use too much, um, but it just explodes. Alright, we'll go with that. Gonna rinse off the handle of this thing because that is way too much. So that's the razor, that's the cream, and that's the brush, the Maggard, Maggard 28 millimeter, super high density badger. Right? Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I hope you did not eat as much as I ate. Um, you know, you always hear about, oh, eat, eat a lot on Thanksgiving, and then you go into a food coma. I went into, I slept 12 hours last night. Um, <laughs> it was, it was bad. So, and I have to work today, yay. All right, uh, there was something else I wanted to do. Oh, uh, soaps to vote on. So I have lather and wood. I have a lot of the soaps stored away now because the in-laws are in the other bathroom. So I kind of put everything in a box. So instead of going through the box, I'm going through things that I have easily accessible. So lather and wood, <laughs> bay rum, uh, kernel conch. This is the amber kernel conch. And then the third is Pré de Provence, bergamot and thyme. And this, I haven't used this in a while, but it's a, I like their number 63 better. All right, so. Let's get going. And we definitely needed a shave. Apparently the dogs are outside, so you may hear barking this is my backyard right here right outside that window
Yeah. The edge seems a little bit better than if I were to hone it on an arc itself. Seems a bit, mm, seems a bit smoother, I would say. Um, it's not quite buttery smooth as I would say it is with my J Nats, but it's definitely smooth, uh, smoother than if I were to just go straight arc. So, and I really don't expect you guys to, <laughs> I really don't expect you guys to really understand exactly what I'm talking about when I say smooth and stuff. Um, but when the, when the, it's cutting through the whisker, like every edge I, I create, it cuts through the whiskers perfectly fine. Like I have no issue with creating a, a sharp enough edge to cut through the whiskers. When I talk about smooth, I'm talking about like how comfortable it is, like as it's cutting through the whiskers, is it taking off like too many extra layers of skin, like that kind of smoothness, that kind of buttery feel. Um, and if you're not taking off too many extra layers of skin, obviously it's going to be much, uh, a much smoother, much creamier, like buttery, smooth type of shave because you're not damaging your skin more than you have to. And that's why I always say, you know, my J-Nats, Japanese natural stones, are my favorite stones because of that. Because it's just like, it's something about the stones. They just, they have a way of being not only sharp enough to just slice through any growth, but also smooth enough to not do too much damage to the underlying skin, so... So I hope I explained it well enough there for you um, to understand what I talk about when I'm talking about like butter smooth and that sort of stuff. So in comparison, you may say, well, you know, what do you think of DE blades? Well, DE blades differ, right? Like some DE blades, like Boss Gods and um, Astra's, there's one other one I'm missing. That's like not one of the very, very, very sharp blades, like a feather, it's, it's like on the, you know, lower end of that. Those blades, I would say, are still way, like, way sharper. Um, they take way too much skin off. So I would even put those, Vascon and, and, and Astra's and those type of blades, Personas, uh, the Persona Blues, not the Persona Reds, in the same category as, say, a synthetic finishing stone for a straight razor. Um, But you, you, there's really no comparison for a natural stone on a straight razor um, equal in a DE world, you know, so it's just how it is. You really can't, it's unfortunate that you really can't feel a truly, you know, awesome edge from a natural stone without using straight razors. Um, because even with like, you know, even with the, uh, what are they called? The shavettes, you're still using, you know, a DE blade just popped in half, right? So, so yeah, if you don't use straights, it's kind of hard to really know what I'm talking about, but, and if you, even if you use straights and you've never used a, uh, 
a synthetic edge. I mean, you've never, you've only used synthetic edges, and you've ne you never used a natural stone. You wouldn't really know what I'm talking about. So I'm planning on, I'm planning on getting um, on Alibaba. They sell these GD sixty sixes, pretty damn cheap. I mean, relatively speaking, you have to purchase a hundred of them. But when you purchase a hundred, they go down to like two dollars and fifty cents a pop. Um, and it takes, you know, probably from start to finish. Probably from start to finish it takes about an hour to bevel set. And so if I were to purchase those, I guess I could sell them for maybe 20, 25 bucks. Just for guys like getting into the hobby. Lingual File and I were talking about that a couple days ago. And I'm not going to name because I have nothing I have nothing against the company. I don't even have anything against the guy, but he made a YouTube video basically talking about the straight razors that they have and it's basically gold dollars that they're selling for like <laughs> for premium prices and they change out the scales the scales that come with these are plastic they're just putting different plastic scales on here which you know may may cost an extra you know i don't know 60 cents or so um so anyways yeah lingual file and i like i said we're talking about about that and like, when you compare that price to, say, Bokers or some of the other, you know, Dovos, Bokers. Like, yeah, it's cheaper than a $150 or $200 straight razor. But, like, I don't know, if you just want to start out on the damn hobby using straight razors... I wouldn't want to spend 50 bucks on my first straight razor. I didn't. I spent 25 on my on my uh, my gold dollar 208 with the with the pl uh, fake plastic carbon fiber scales, you know. And the edge that came on it was awful. I was shaving with it, and it was like it was tugging so bad. It was like pulling. It was pulling the hair out of my face. It wasn't even cutting. So that's what I'm saying, you know, like you have people like that sell, selling stuff for 25 bucks, 30 bucks even with horrible edges. I could, I think I could easily sell them for, you know, 20, 25 bucks with really good natural stone edges that people would actually enjoy. Um, oh yeah, it's a very nice shave. I feel like I had a bump here. I think I nicked early on, but it looks like it's okay now. Ooh. All right, let's go with... Uh, Rose petal. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I may. I mean, you know, some of the regular guys. I'm probably gonna if I do move forward. And some of the regular guys that comment all the time on every single video, I'll just send them a honed razor, you know. Um, but then I'll have some for sale in case anybody else wants. A good shave. All right, what are we gonna finish it off with? I don't even know. From my last shave, I still have 4711 down here, uh, right here. But we're not gonna use that. Let's use a. Uh... I haven't used this in a while. Fine platinum. It's like a Creed Aventus dupe. Duplicate. All right. Ooh. Oh, I got to get another shot of that. That's awesome. Um, this in fresh vetiver. I keep getting confused. It's either fresh vetiver or green vetiver. They're the two fine aftershaves that I have. Freaking awesome smells, man. Awesome smells. A lot of alcohol content, though. So if you're not an alcohol fan, you probably don't want to go with the fine 
um, <laughs> with the fine accoutrement uh, aftershaves. Anyways, that's the shave, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you had any questions, put them down below. Don't forget to vote on the three soaps for next shave, and uh, I'll catch you later.